All right, I'm gonna head into town to that coffee shop and uh, work in yesterday's vlog. Oh, whoops. Ah, she was losing air fast, boys. I gotta get my spare tire, but it's under all that stuff. <laughs> Just uploaded the vlog and uh, headed back to the ranch. Just talked to uh, Scott and the boys. They're gonna go into town. Scott's uh, tire is still leaking from like the nail he had in the other night. So they're gonna repair that, eat some lunch, and then scout for cuts down south of where we've been. I'm gonna go back to the ranch and get some rocks over there. Look at that, it's the daily snakeskin under a rock. Right next to the other one too. They're in here. We're at like nine or 10 collective sheds over the last couple days. Not a single snake under a rock. Like why can't we just catch one in the act of shedding? That's possible, right? <sighs> Yo, finally, a cool little thing. I just flipped a, a little gecko. Wow. That was definitely better than nothing. You, you did the dishes? I think I clogged the sink. Or oh, you, you clogged the sink. Because your eggs, you didn't get the eggs off. So when you cleaned there it, you clogged so it? There was so much egg on the pan. Like, it could be a whole serving of egg. Thank you for doing the dishes. Okay. What are you doing now? Just learning chemistry. Noah, what did you do today? Flipped rocks. You guys find anything under the rocks? About 11 snakeskin. So you guys scouted some cuts today. How do they look? They look pretty good. We'll do the cuts to the south, and then do, do the same cuts we did last night to the west. It might be warmer there than up here. Yeah. yeah, but we would get service there, so if we were to split up on those cuts, we could call oh, each other. Okay. And iNaturalist had a lot of findings, not necessarily of the Altera, but other lots of snakes. Yeah, genius idea. You know, we know that water flushes them out. We're gonna get a fire truck. We're gonna go blast those cuts this afternoon, just hose them down, and then come back tonight and reap the harvest. So Harris, were any of the sheds today like unique or? You know, all the ones I found were just like old, like uh, messed up kind of. Scotty too hotty. Did that no. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of fun. Decided we're gonna let Alex drive today. What are we watching? Archive. Archive okay, of what? Break, 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 break. Don't get that close. Flipping an Alterna in the hot sun in the daytime? Two hour challenge? Winner gets an Alterna? Where are all the Turna? That's our car. Way down there. <sighs> Am I really bad to do this? I just went up that. Holy cow. That has me. I mean, nervous. The only thing that makes me nervous is the rocks are kind of loose, really flaky. I'm honestly just trying to get down as quickly as possible. Oh, we made it to the top, I guess. Okay, I heard that, I almost died. That is where I almost died, in that crevice. The problem is that you think that going up and going down is the same. Yes. So you're like- I thought it was. Theoretically, if you can go up, you can go down the same way. Well, theoretically, you can. No, you cannot. It's faster. What he did was he got it to a point where he couldn't go back down. He had to climb up a really difficult, like, crevasse or something. I was a sketch the other day, too, because yeah. the rocks are brittle. I didn't want to ever have one hold on, like, one rock. You know, I was trying to, like, yeah. space it out. But there was, like, at least one part of the climb today. I put, like, all my weight on one rock to, like, yeah, pull myself yeah, up. Dude. And I was like, oh, my gosh. If I, this rock breaks, I will fall, bounce off, and go, like, 30 feet. So today was the most I've been scared since day 13 when I did whitewater rafting. What are the odds you drive back to Scott? Three, two, one, four. No, wait, <laughs> you can drive, Alex? No, you're not driving. You're not driving. Mm -hmm. Hey, where did it control that way, right? <laughs> yeah, but no, Alex, don't think. Uh, like gas into the curve. No. Yeah, that, 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 that perfect. There's like three over there. Yeah, we got all the tuna. Maybe. That is such a big jackrabbit. Dad, God, that thing is awesome looking. Dude, that kind of looks like a human trapped inside an animal's body. That thing's not hopping. No, it's not. Yay, we got Alex's Aatrox, finally. First one of the trip for me. Very cool. That's a cute one. Cool little WDB Western Diamondback. I love them. I love them. They're a favorite for me. Why? Because they're iconic? I don't know why I love them so much. I don't know. I just really, I don't know. I, I guess so. They're so iconic. Oh, it's too poop. Maybe it's blowing like from like Mexico. It's nice and warm. 
bum, bum. Our first snake that we found in three days. Alex, how do you feel about your life for WDB? Oh, it's, it's great. I love it. Oh, what is that? It's been long nose. That's a bummer. We've only seen like a handful of cars on this road. That's a huge third snake. That is massive. So Still a welcome change though from seeing nothing. Oh, this I is can't. what I saw. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, all three of those species I've got before. Um, but I'm glad the other guys get to see them. Some lifers for the lot of them. Pretty cool. So pretty. Daggum boy, with that little thing? You're a legend for that, for real. What just happened? Proceeds Especially when he turned anyways. his head, brother. We got the vlog going. Our little uh, WDB over here. I love the black and white rattle. Um, black and white tail, I mean. Very, uh, very iconic species. One of my favorite in the US. Crotalus atrox. They love WDBs. Anyways. I mean, I, I help, I help. Just wanted to show off this cool thread snake a little more. Nice and long. Here's our WDB, still just chilling. There's uh, both of them there. Yeah, here's our uh, Chihuahuan night snake here. This is technically a lifer for me, I guess. I, I've only ever got Sonora night snake, actually, so. Okay, they're all gonna go to release those snakes, and they're gonna try to cruise a few more. I still have to go get my gas, which I am Oh my gosh, almost out of. That's the uh, the good old bungalow. At least it's not the engine light. Probably about 35 miles from the nearest gas station. Temps are going down. That's not good. We're like 0.2 miles from the gas station. Push it at this point if we had to. Definitely a close one. All right, let's head back out. Okay, we cruised a couple more hours. It's like 4.30 a.m. We didn't see anything else. We're about to go to bed. We found some snakes today, but sort of a slow vlog day, but that's okay. Yeah, we found some snakes. Okay, good night.